So a while back I made a video explaining how you can install a Decky Loader and sort of get it set up on your Steam Deck. Today I want to showcase some of the best Decky Loader plugins to get your Steam Deck looking and working, something like this. So once you have Decky Loader installed, you have this little plug icon right here. So whenever you hit that, you can hit the little storefront button to search for any of the things that I'll be mentioning today. So a simple but really cool plugin is called Steam Grid DB. So once you search and find Steam Grid DB, you know nothing really would have seemed to have changed. Let's pick a game like Overwatch here and hit, you know, this little start button. It's kind of hard to tell on camera, but the option says change artwork. See, you click that. So for the capsule, wide capsule, hero, and logo images, you can pick a completely different image for each game and customize how it looks. I believe you might even be able to upload your own images to sort of make it, you know, if there's not the particular one that you want. Most of my games that I have, I've already sort of switched up the logos and things. But if you click on it, there's a completely different icon in the background. So this is just a way to kind of, you know, personalize and make your Steam Deck a little more interesting. And then this one, while not as cool, is definitely useful. It's called Battery Tracker. So Battery Tracker allows you to obviously track the battery of your Steam Deck. And then there's a slider to go back in days. And I've had Battery Tracker for a while, so I can look and see over the past seven days, you know, I've drained the battery to about 50%, charged it drained it, charged it, drained it, and you can kind of see the trends in the battery, and then it tells you, you know, average power consumption across different games that you're playing. So for Nair here, you can see that the average power consumed is about 17 watts. So the biggest and most significant plugin that you'll find on here is called CCS Loader. So here are the exact options that I have enabled on CCS Loader. So once you're in the plugins and you find CCS Loader, you have to hit this little download button at the top, to find options and packs for CCS Loader. So all of the options that I have, so I have Art Hero enabled, I have Clean Game Launch enabled, Clean Game View, Deck Store Obsidian, Deck Store Rounded, which makes all the icons round, Game Header Text Stroke, Outrun Theme, and Outrun Theme changes the colors, that's where all this blue and stuff comes from, and then round icons on the home screen and such. Show install status, so you can see if a game is installed or not before clicking on it, which normally you can't. And then wide profile background to just kind of make your profile look a little different whenever you go to view it. So unlike how the deck comes out of the box, you have the game sort of banner artwork back here with the games in a little carousel at the bottom. And it's sort of reminiscent of like a PlayStation 5, but honestly, I just much rather this to how the deck looks, you know, out of the box. Now, one of my favorite plugins is actually this one right here called audio loader if it'll focus audio loader well audio loader is very interesting because basically you can pick from a bunch of different packs of ui sound effects so i'm not too sure how well you guys can hear but these are sort of the animal crossing sounds and anytime you get an achievement it's like the animal crossing uh well done sound or whatever like you just crafted something so game theme music right here is pretty cool it is for every single game it automatically plays a song from the soundtrack so let me put some volume up and pick uh animal crossing and if you press the start button you can go to change theme music and pick a different song per game so it's just whenever you're looking at sort of the artwork screen for your games, it starts playing a little theme song. But I do get how it could be annoying to some people who don't want sounds playing and stuff, but I think it's, you know, pretty fun. Power Tools is very important, especially if you want to play Nintendo Switch games on your Steam Deck that you own. So obviously you can change the threads and there's different presets here, so like we can pick performance for example. But for whatever reason, whenever you're playing Nintendo Switch game, you're going to have to lock the GPU to a thousand basically. Absolutely max out the CPU. I'm sure there are better ways to do that, but that is the only way I've been able to get consistent frame rates in games such as Tears of the Kingdom. Other Switch games run fine without that, however, we'll experience some stuttering and stuff and I found that setting those settings like that gives you the absolute smoothest experience while not the greatest battery life. And you have to use power tools in order to do that. And then the last one that I want to share with you guys is Animation Changer. So what Animation Changer does is it allows you to pick a completely custom boot and suspend animation. So to suspend, I don't have a custom one currently, but booting the system, 
there's a cat you can do whatever you want uh but funnily enough the cat seems to be the uh the fastest boot screen that i've found so far as funny as it is it gets you to the operating system the fastest that's my list of sort of the best settings to have on decky loader if you want to know how to install decky loader Take a look at my past video, I have one of those up on my channel, sort of explaining how to do that. If you made it this far, drop a like, and uh, that's all from me. I'm out. Peace. <laughs>